Okay. Today we're talking about how to craft cards. Um, this is one of my decks. Which one am I going to use? Um, start a new one. So, first thing you want to do with crafting, um, you want to open this, dismantle all extra cards. Um, it'll give you CP for normal, CP for rare, CP for super rare, and CP for ultra rare. Once you've done that, you should have enough materials to go into the crafting. Just exit it out there. So all you need to do, let's say I want Genzo. Let's see if this one's available. And it is. Looks like I can get it. So on console, you just hit L2 to view the card, and you generate it. Card cannot be generated to the following reasons. Mm, I don't know I have enough craft points. So let's go find something we don't need. Because I don't have enough points, I'm going to dismantle something. So I'm going to come all the way down. I need super rare crafting points. So that's what I need. I'm gonna search super rare. I'm going to come down. I'm going to look for one that I probably, most definitely, will never use. And for me, uh, football. No, I'm never going to use those. Um, I've been battling for a long time, so I pretty much know most of the cards that I tend to go for, and so it's easy for me to just get rid of them. Um, Tribune is something I might use any kind of vaccine gray or oh, Mega Monarch. I'll keep that. Um, let's see. Link Monster. Oh, no. I don't really use Link Monsters. Oh, I can't dismantle. So this is part of a structure deck. Structure deck cards you cannot dismantle. I guess because you can keep buying the structure deck. Which is why you can't dismantle them. And it gives you guaranteed super air, so it makes sense. Um, if you look on the top left, where it said next to the card, um, it says can dismantle, zero. That's how you know you, whether you can get rid of it or not. Like none of these I can really get rid of because they're they all came with the structure deck so I gotta go back up here get something I'm not gonna use I'm not I never use grave keepers okay back to the crafting we want Genzo hit L2 on that thing we're gonna generate however many we want I can afford one so generate one and boom, just like that, we have a Genzo. We have one. So I can dismantle one. I'm gonna favor that, because it's one of my favorite cards. Um, if you know the name of the card, you can type it in, and it'll come up. Um, let's see, Exodia is the next deck I'm gonna work on. I just finished my Amazonist deck. And there you are. If you come up here, now some of these cards won't all, some of them won't show you the entire list of related. You might have to hit related a couple times. But if you look in here and you hit related cards, you keep hitting it, it'll give you different lists. So make sure you shuffle through and you're completing your deck um, so that you have all the specifications that you need. Um, what's another good card? Go Black Skull Dragon. It used to be a very popular OG card, at least for fusions before it got all weird. Let's see if it comes up. There we go. We've got Archfiend and Black Skull. And for this one. Gives you how to obtain. What does this do? Legacy pack. Yeah, you click on it, it tells you exactly which pack you need to go to. And for this one, is this one Legacy as well? Nope. Serious and that. So that's a quick tutorial on crafting. Um, you can add your favorites. These are some of my favorites that I've added. Uh, you can only do 30, I believe. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, you can do 30 um, favorites. It's kind of whack that you can only do 30 favorites, but hey, um, that's what they give us to work with. Hopefully, they'll update it in a future update. Um, but yeah, that's a quick tutorial on how to craft your own cards, um, deck building, and searching for cards and looking for them. Generating, 
and dismantling all your extra cards. Um, just a quick tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like, follow, subscribe. Peace.